Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. In case you're new here, we're here for another pop-up reading and today's pop-up is all about your specific person, whoever you thought of when you had a calling to click on this video. We're going to go over their current thoughts, feelings, intentions, and overall energy towards you and the connection at this time. I'm gonna chat a bit with the tarot here, then I'll pull some additional cards to get as much info out for you as I possibly can here today. We'll do some channeled messages from them as well. And then towards the end, I'll get out some tiles, charms, and a message from the universe just for you, my dear, whatever you need to hear the most right now. So stick around. Over here, we have your person's thoughts about you and the connection, basically their mental energy, their mental stance. We have their emotional energy, their feelings for you and the connection, basically. Then over here, we have their intentions. And this time around, I had a calling to pull out both of the back of the deck energies and set them aside. The only reason I don't have them in the actual deck stacks is to because it kind of looked lopsided I saw on camera so I just pulled them out separately because this is kind of like their overall overarching energy towards you and the connection at this time and I saw the connection there so I had to pull it out this time around I'm going to start with their thoughts about you actually you know what where am I going to start hold on give me a second here you guys because they might want me to start over here with this and I think that is the case okay you know what I'm going to start over here this time around before I get into the other the other stuff. Okay, so the overarching stance your person has towards you in the connection right now, basically what is really going on hardcore under the scenes, behind the scenes, so to speak, is your person having a pretty big tower moment regarding you and your connection. I would not be surprised if you were not in communication with them or if the communication is pretty like fleeting and sparse simply because I'm just really sensing that there's been some distance between the two of you. Again, either literally or emotionally, mentally, you get the gist of it. Your person's been having a big wake up call about you. And honestly, you guys, I think this is going to be a rather specific message just for some of you out there. As always, remember this is a general reading. If most of the reading fits, other parts of it don't. Remember it's general, we have thousands of viewers, but listen to your intuition at the end of the day for which messages are meant specifically for you and however they resonate, right? But for some of you guys out there, your person had been looking for a queen of pentacles type. De doesn't matter what the gender is, it's just the energy, right? They had been looking for their ideal partner and what their ideal partner looked like to them was somebody who is very, very grounded in 3D business, okay? Such as a business owner, um, somebody who'd be very good at maintaining a household, mo more than likely a homeowner, somebody who's very, very good with their material world stuff. A hard worker, dedicated worker, good with finances, good with the household, good with career. You, you get the gist of it, basically. Somebody who feels very stable and grounded emotionally as well, okay? Not necessarily a free spirit type, um, although I do think that they admire that about you. I'll get to that. I do think that you are more of a free spirited type, but um, I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit, you guys. But their ideal partner was somebody who is basically um, just very... How can I put this? Just material world based, okay? Somebody who is a high earner, high roller, you get the gist of it, okay? But also very grounded, almost boring, kind of like a plain Jane type. I don't know why, but that's like your person's ideal person in a way or how they were perceiving it in the past. Um, I think that for a while throughout this connection, it's more than likely that this person was in another relationship or they were looking around for whoever this person was and maybe they even mistook other people as their ideal person, but something about your connection has made them see things differently. And it's like they're kind of viewing you as their ideal person now, like the person they've been looking for all along, but maybe they didn't see it at first, okay? It's quite possible maybe... Um, your person could be like a little bit older than you or had more grounding and material stuff like they were further along in their career than you or maybe they were a homeowner you were not um, but for whatever reason your person was looking for somebody else and now they're realizing that 
their ideal person, the one that they had been looking for all along, is actually you. And I don't know why they didn't see that at first. I, I really believe that you probably have some deep history with this person and they've known you for a long time, uh, or at least they feel like they do. But they were looking externally for something that they already had like in the palm of their hands with this connection essentially. So this is a very specific message. This is the overarching theme here is that your person was out there mentally or emotionally trying to seek this ideal partner in another person and really it was you like now your person is seeing you as a soulmate or a divine counterpart of sorts they're they're one true love essentially uh, but they were always out there seeking it with other people for whatever reason okay their mental energy really is seeing you as this person this wish fulfillment this dream come true this fairy tale story happy ending you get it okay um and their potential life partner because we have the four of wands they could see marriage with you they see union with you they see commitment with you and mentally when they're thinking about you now after they've had this big old wake-up call this is where their mind keeps going to they're thinking about how you are their queen of pentacles again regardless of gender okay they're seeing you as their ideal person essentially um, their wish fulfillment, their dream come true, the person that they really actually want to spend the rest of their life with. But for whatever reason, they couldn't see that before. And I think that even perplexes them. And uh, again, it was a pretty big wake up call, you guys, like your person's been going through it <laughs> behind the scenes, whether you're conscious of this or not, this wake up call was a massive one for your person. Um, and I think that their entire reality as they knew it before having this wake up call has come crumbling down to the ground and it's almost like they're in the process of being rebuilt um, into a new mindset and a new way of being. Emotionally, there's some type of an urgency coming from your person, like they're feeling impatient, like the fire is building within them to come forward towards you and talk to you, okay? There is a very, very, very strong urgency, okay? Like little sirens going off within your person. It has something to do with them feeling like they have to right or wrong. So it's quite possible you're aware of this situation with them choosing another person over you. Uh, simply because they feel like there's something they need to be forgiven for by you um, or something that they need to come in and rush in and tell you and clear the air with like ASAP, like yesterday, you guys. This person's urgency is growing and growing and growing. In fact, we can see over here with their intentions that they're already in the process of taking the first steps to come in and make you some type of a love offering because we have the two of wands being clarified or clarifying with the knight of cups here. So intentions wise, yes, your person does want to come in and communicate. They are romantically interested in you clearly, and they want to come in and give you a formal offering and to do their very best to do it right this time, essentially. They're already in the process of planning. Intentions wise, your person might be like a little bit type A or like really, really like planning things out. I don't know what to say it. I'll, I don't know how to say this, you guys. They, they do want to impulsively rush in, but they prefer to plan. Like your person is the type that wants to have a game plan. They want to have like things ready to go. They want to know what they're doing before they just dive into it versus somebody who's impulsive and just going to pick up the phone and give you a call without thinking it through. Your person thinks things through and they come up with a game plan first, okay? So emotionally, they want to rush in. They're feeling that urgency to just rush in. But intentions wise, they're going to take their time to maintain to meticulously plan this and come in with a formal and good love offering because for whatever reason your person feels like that's what you deserve and that's the only way they can sort of like win you back or win back your affection is if it's something not shallow if that makes sense they they don't want to just give you a call and say hey do you want to get together next saturday they want to come in with something much stronger than that because they feel like that is necessary or you might just like stick your nose up at them and walk away from the situation so whatever's transpired between the two of you it has been big again you probably have some history with this person because there's just a lot of depth to this energy coming from them. What I'm gonna do next is get out some tarot uh, for 
likely outcomes in the near future. I'm going to read it as in like within the next few days to a couple of months here, like within a six month time frame. What is the likely outcome of this connection according to current projections? And we're gonna see what comes out for that, you guys, okay? All right, what do we have here? We have the 10 of Pentacles, yeah. There's something about finances. Like, I don't know if your person, your person might be like a businessman or woman or something like that, but they're very, 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 very concerned with their financial life. That's why they were looking for a queen of pentacles type, somebody who's very responsible with their home life and finances and material plane based stuff, right? Your person cares a lot about that. I'm not necessarily seeing them as a superficial type right now, like they put money over love. They could have very well been in the past. I would not be surprised given this tower energy that's coming out with that, right? But I do think that that's just in general very important to your person. Maybe they are very financially responsible themselves or they've been with partners in the past that were not financially responsible and it really screwed them over. But for whatever reason, finances are very important to your person. Not necessarily that they want to be super rich or above anybody else, but they want to have a very stable home life and that is super important to them. They want to have a stable future when it comes to money. Um, so in the near future, I see that working out for the two of you. You are, in fact, this queen of pentacles type. I see you as somebody who, yes, you are a bit free spirited, but you're also extremely responsible with your finances. Like you aren't necessarily a frivolous spender. You're a little bit more frugal than that. And I think that your person can see that about you now. And it's something that they really value about you is that you are mature, grounded, and stable. They see the two of you, um, and this is the likely outcome within the next like few days to six months or so, somewhere in that time frame for you guys. I see you actually working together with something financial, like you're gonna be working as a team. This could mean that you guys are actually in a committed relationship and you're working towards building your financial future together. Um, but there's something about a joint effort between the two of you coming in the future. I'm going to see what other cards we get out so I can talk a little bit more about the romantic side about this. But essentially, yes, it looks like you guys are going to be teaming up. And I assume if you're working towards a mutual goal together, it's likely that, yeah, you probably are in a committed relationship with each other simply because I don't know why you would like pool your resources with just a friend. You know what I mean? Holy cow. Watch you guys. You see that? We just got the Queen of Pentacles coming out again. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling called to get one more card, though, even though it's going to mess up the spread. Yeah, that would be why, and I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles coming out. Um, first, actually, I'm going to get out the Zodiac signs for you. We have Gemini, Pisces, uh, Virgo is coming out twice with the Queen of Pentacles. Let me just real quickly grab the Astro Dice for you. And some of you guys ask in the comments whether or not, like, this is your reading if you don't see your Zodiac and their Zodiac coming out. Again, remember this is general. This is just for additional confirmation for some people that really need it out there. If the reading is really resonating with you, it doesn't matter if their Zodiac comes out. It doesn't matter if you see their name in the tiles. Listen to your own intuition, okay? If this reading is calling you, it's probably your reading, so you can trust your intuition, all right? We have Leo coming out. Leo again. Aquarius, and let me get one more, Taurus. Okay, wonderful, you guys. Okay, anyway, so there's a reason they had me do that, okay? And it's weird how they're switching up the spread this time around, but I'm going with it. I, that's why I like to leave my readings rather open-ended, you guys. Um, this person, it, you guys are going to be doing a 180, basically. All of this is different than what's going on between the two of you right now. Again, I don't think you're in heavy contact with this person because it seems like that is what this big, massive, huge <laughs> shift is going to be, okay? You're not talking to them right now or you're not in like a stable, grounded relationship with them. That is what's changing. You guys are going to be partnering up on something with your finances, maybe even moving in together and like depending on the individual, I would not be shocked if the two of you did 
actually like enter into a fully committed relationship with each other, such as marriage or a union and actually go for it and purchase a house together. For some of you guys out there, that's actually going to happen. Otherwise, you're just going to be working on a mutual goal together and you're going to have a very, very stable and grounded relationship. I see them coming in with a love offering for you, an apology and a love offering. Um, there's going to be a beginning of this romance and it's going to feel very abundant. And in fact, there's a separate message coming out with these two cards coming out together saying that your person may even admit this to you. Whatever this is about them thinking that another person was their queen of pentacles, this person might even come in and tell you about that, apologize and let, th and let you know essentially that they see you as their one true love and that they mistook things in the past. They're going to, they're basically going to fess up up to everything and, and lay out all their cards on the table from what I can see here. And that's going to lead the two of you into having a very grounded connection with one another where you're going to be working towards a mutual goal and things are really going to start shifting in your favor in this connection. So what I'm going to do next is get some Oracle cards out. I'm going to get some additional info. We're not going to use that deck. We're going to use my Moonology deck is what I'm feeling called. Um, and we're going to kind of go from there. We're going to get any additional info I can get out for you before we do channeled messages. And you guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Certainly helps out my channel. And I'd love to have you stick around for more readings in the future. Okay? Take a breath. Yeah, the two of you, um, there's so many things I can take away. Maybe you guys have been meditating more or you've been really, really practicing patience and grounding and rejuvenating. Um, honestly, I see both of you as total go-getters. Like you don't let anyone get in the way. I wouldn't be surprised if both of you were business owners or entrepreneurs or just in general, you're very, very hard workers and you might have a tendency to overwork yourselves. I see both of you trying to relax a little bit or in the future you are going to be like easing up a little bit, particularly when you do come together and you feel like there's less financial pressure on your own back and you guys can kind of like team up together, you're going to finally feel like you guys can relax a little bit every once in a while and take a breather. So that's interesting. Let's get a couple more focus. Yeah, I think both of you guys are like super, super like you get tunnel vision with your goals. Like you have a goal, you focus all your attention on that goal and you do not stop until it's reached. Like both of you are total... <laughs> totally ambitious people, not only in like the material plane stuff, but even with love. Like if you have your mind set on, yeah, what did I say, you guys? If you guys have your mind set on something involving love, like you, you try to reach that like a goal almost. It's kind of cute. Like you view it almost as like a goal that you have to achieve. It's kind of funny to be honest. So yeah. And there's love coming in the future. You guys both have your mind set on this and it's coming for you. Okay daydreaming a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if you and your person have been daydreaming about this. Again, this whole little combination about your person's current thoughts about you is almost daydreamy, kind of like a fantasy land because we have the nine of cups and the four of wands. It's like they're fantasizing about being with you. They get their head in the clouds and they start thinking about all the beautiful possibilities the two of you guys could have together and a home life and a family life and like your person is in a total daydreamy energy over you right now totally fantasizing um, and thinking ahead okay Ooh, I love it when the ladybug comes out you guys that is beautiful and I'll also note that we have Sun as the back of the deck okay but yeah ladybugs um, in some cultures represent luck and abundance right and so that's how I'm reading it here there is a lot of abundance coming for the two of you I don't know maybe for some of you you might even partner up in business together, like you might even start a business with one another, that could be something very important because we have the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles coming out together right under there, right? And that is like the future outcome within the next six months. So again, you're, you're, there's something about your person being very focused on like a partner that is good with their money and stuff like that. So maybe it's possible that your person always had a dream of starting a business with their spouse or their life partner, you know what I mean? Something that the two of you would create together, collaborate on together, and I see that coming in for the two of you. You really are going to be partnering up and creating something absolutely beautiful with one another, and I'm super, super excited for the two of you. That is awesome, and it's going to work out favorably. Let's get out 
one or two of my Gaia Oracle cards, and then I'm going to hop into channeled messages. What else can you tell me, a spiritual team? Oh, they might not want me to get a card from this deck. I'm not going to not going to force it. We'll keep trying if nothing comes out. There we go. Oh, wow. We have yin yang number 40. Creating harmony through balance. So it's quite possible maybe this is your divine counterpart. I wouldn't be surprised just looking at some of the energies. It doesn't have to be for all of you guys out there, but I, I really wouldn't be surprised. I mean, we have the four of wands. That's confirmation sometimes. Um, and just the way that this energy is laid out, like your person searching everywhere else to try to run away essentially and find it externally in other people. But really the two of you are like a very, very balanced match for one another. So I wouldn't be surprised. Otherwise, this is just confirming that the two of you would be very, very good together, that you would balance each other's uh, energy out quite a bit. It would be very harmonious. Um, the blending of your divine masculine and divine feminine energies would be spot on. Let's get out some more Oop. liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. Oh, definitely. I wouldn't be surprised. I think that there's been a learning curve for both of you throughout this connection. And I think that is a big thing that the both of you have had to undergo is learning to set yourselves free. Maybe it's possible that um, when you first met this person or at some point on your journey with knowing them, they were already in a relationship with this person that they thought originally was their queen of pentacles that they were looking for. Maybe they were married to this person and the, this person was like a wolf in sheep's clothing, essentially. They were not the person your person was looking for, but they believed them to be originally. And this connection has helped to set you or your person, likely both of you, free from a lot of negative attachments to people, places, things, and mindsets that really were not in alignment. I think freedom has been a big, big, big underlying lesson for the both of you to learn throughout this connection, for sure. Okay. We're going to get one more. Oop. We have flame tree, the start of something new. So that could be some more confirmation for some of you guys that this could be your twin. Just saying, it's kind of obvious. We also have the numbers 25 and 30, by the way. But this is also essentially just saying that there is a rebirth. A rebirth. It's almost giving me this tower energy because this tree is on fire, right? It ha It's like... It's Phoenix energy. It's tower energy. It's like through the destruction is beginning something new and beautiful that is in more alignment with who you are. And this is all a part of your destiny. So something new is coming between the two of you. This story isn't over with yet. If you thought it was, well, there's your confirmation that it is certainly not over with, over with yet. Okay, let's get a couple more cards out. I'm going to do message cards now. We're going to do message cards. And if you guys are like super into yin yang stuff, by the way, I have a whole bunch of different yin yang, um, sun and moon type of imagery or on my, uh, blah, 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 on some of my items in my shop. So if you're interested in like yin yang shirts and mugs and stuff like that, you can check out my shop. The link is in the description. I have all kinds of things. If you feel so called, if you ever feel called, or if you just want to get yourself like an Awakened Soul t-shirt or something like that. Got plenty of those too. Wow, you guys, take a look at that. We have Inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. Yeah, you guys have a very deep soul connection with one another. It goes beyond time and space. Maybe that's one of the things that your person has woken up to as well, um, that they were in denial of in the past, particularly if your person was a runner. Yep, and they also sabotage things. I think that's another lesson they've had to learn, you guys. They had a tendency to self-sabotage. Maybe they could have been an avoidant type or have an avoidant attachment style, anxious avoidant. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. That's quite common with like a anxious avoidance and avoidance is like when things are going too good or if it seems too good that they mess it up because they're afraid of like having that deep intimacy, right? mend i want to fix our connection but they do want to repair it i think your person's been learning a lot though i don't think that they're going to be 
returning with any type of like still stuck energy. I think your person has been healing a lot and they know that when they come back in, they want to come back in right. I'm gonna show you the back of the deck is reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. That's giving me like six of cups energy. Again, I really think you have history with this person. It's not somebody that's like a newer connection for you. The two of you have history and they are thinking back to like beautiful times they've had with you and almost kicking themselves because they don't understand why they didn't recognize you to be their person in the past. They were just in denial of it though. Particularly if this is a twin flame connection and they're the runner. Um, just from my own observation, that seems very common, right? I know I was a distraction from your pain. Maybe you could have also been in another relationship and that could have been a blockage. Um, otherwise, maybe that's true. Both of you kind of like were going through a painful time during the original portion of your connection and you guys were almost like distracting each other from sort of the painful stuff that was going on behind the scenes in your life, particularly if one or both of you were in like a toxic relationship or a, a loveless marriage or something like that. It's like this connection initially before separation happened made you guys both feel alive again, but for whatever reason it ended. It'll be different for everybody, but that's also, it's just something I have to say. We have, I'm afraid to contact you. Maybe this person feels like you blocked them or again, they know that they're going to have to have this judgment call, that they did something to hurt you or something. It's like they're almost deeming as unforgivable at this point. And I don't know if that's really the case, but your person's being kind of dramatic about it and that's how they're seeing it. They don't know if you'll forgive them. They don't know if you're going to take them back. And that's part of why with their action plans, they're planning something pretty big because they know that they can't just walk in flaky with like a rose and a poem and just be like, oh, here you go. Take me back. Like they need, they need to do something big to really get your attention and to have a second chance. That's how your person is viewing this. Uh, another thing is that they're just afraid to reach out to you in general. They don't know how you're going to respond to them. And if it's been a long time since the two of you have spoken, um, it's like the fear of rejection still freaks them out. They don't know if you're going to just like never respond back to them. They're afraid because this person has deep feelings for you and they are afraid of getting rejected by you, but they are working up the bravery to move past the fear, okay? I remember every detail of that day and then we do have reminiscing coming out. So maybe the two of you went through like a little bit of a honeymoon phase with one another, distracting yourselves from the pain of what else was going on in your life. Maybe there was one specific day that the two of you spent together that this person is reliving in their head over and over and over again, and they just can't forget it, right? Um, that'll be different for everybody's situation, but been there, done that. That's all I can say. Let's get one more message out from them. I hope you can forgive me one day. Yeah. Yeah, this person really misses you and they really respect you a lot. They see you as their person, like their true love, and they don't want to... They don't want this to be how it ends, basically. That makes them very uncomfortable. Let's get out a couple more messages from them before I move into the tiles and charms. What else would they say, please? Yeah. Most definitely. They think very highly of you. I mean, they're putting you up on that pedestal with the Queen of Pentacles, right? They think very, very high, highly of you. I hide my feelings because I'm scared. Yeah, your person had some type of emotional wounds. Maybe that's why in the past they wanted to choose partners that were just very practical. I don't know how else to put this. Like they wanted a practically compatible partner regardless of emotional depth and... Um, they wanted to like shy away from their feelings for whatever reason, probably just some type of wound that they had building up for a long time before even meeting you. We will be together one day. So this person is determined though. They are determined. They do not want to let this connection go. You're my first thought when I wake up. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And are you ready for it? Yep, yep. Let's get one or two more cards out. Okay. One more card out, please. 
don't think I don't want you because I do. So we're going to leave that there, you guys. Um, they do want you. If you didn't know that, if you've been questioning it, they do. They're not as cold as they would like you to think that they are or were in the past. Let's get out a couple of tiles now. This could spell out your person's names, um, your person's initials, your name, any important words for the connection. You get it. If you've watched a few of my videos, you know the drill. If you see anything that I'm missing, you're welcome to comment down below. I see RN, so maybe, um, and two RNs actually, so maybe one or both of you guys are nurses or you work in the medical field. Get a couple of these out. Oop, I'm seeing like DUI, so I don't know, maybe one or both of you guys like had trouble with drinking or something like that in the past. Still do, I don't know. That's your business. Um, what else? We didn't get a whole lot of vowels. Well, we kind of did, but we got a lot of doubles. So there's also a possibility that maybe you and your person have double letters in your names or double initials. You guys could have the same initials because we have two R's, two E's, two N's, two S's, two T's. So a lot of doubles. Um, in a way, that's almost like a nod that you two mirror each other very, very well, okay? Um, and it's kind of, in a way, a little bit of a twin flamey sign just because um, two and two and two and two and two, right? Um, the, in fact, the only oddballs out were these three letters. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there. That's weird, you guys. Anyway, let's get out a couple charms for you now. There we go. We got another T coming out. So that broke the doubles thing. Okay. There we go. Got a whole lot of charms this time. Yeah, we have a T. We have a snowflake. So maybe the winter is very, very important for this connection. Big things have happened during the winter months or will um, in the future. So depending where you are on the planet right now, winter could be coming up soonish rather than laterish. We just, we're still in winter in the Northern hemisphere if you're watching this right when it was released, but what, regardless, winter is important, it seems. We also have a guitar. That could be something that this person is doing if they are a musician or if they like have a love of music or if that was something that bonded the two of you together. They could be writing you a song as this big gesture to show you that they care or maybe like curating a playlist or something of that nature. Um, could be one of the things that they're doing. We have grapes here. So your person does desire to have a bit of a luxurious love lifestyle. I'm not seeing them as wanting to be like super rich, but your person does care about having some of the finer things in life. That is definitely something about your person you should know, okay? Um, and then we have the swan here opening up its wings. Swans represent monogamous, committed relationships. They're also symbols of soulmate connections and twin flame connections. And the fact that the swan is opening up its wings like that is telling me that this love is going to be opening up again in the future, that the two of you are almost going to be like opening up your arms to one another again. So lovely. I'm going to get a couple of messages from the universe out for you now, whatever you need to hear the most. Then we'll kind of go from there, you guys. Whoa. And as always, if you feel like dropping a comment down below with the collective to let me know how everything resonates, you're more than welcome to. If you ever have any positive affirmations or positive news to share, I invite you to do that as well. I, I aspire to have a very uplifting and predominantly positive channel. So I invite you to and welcome you to. Don't worry. Everything you've been waiting for is on its way. Progress is being made even if you can't yet see the results. So much is happening behind the scenes for the creation of your dreams. Trust the process. Let's get, um, you know what? We're going to get, what are we doing? We're going we're gonna to get a couple of these angel cards. And actually this just popped out with two of them. So maybe that was for a reason. We're going to take it. We have Archangel Metatron. Beautiful. I am your link between heaven and earth, between your humanity and divinity. I am here to help you heal the conflict between your heart and mind. Feel me in the stream of your thoughts and feelings. In unity, there is love. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Archangel Metatron is one of the archangels I pray to every single day. By the way, you guys, I have a whole little list I rattle off when I say my, my prayers. 
Um, so if you guys ever hear me say spiritual team or my spirit team, I am referring to the, the many different beings I pray to on a regular basis. And I shorten it for you guys so I don't have to go, God, Jesus, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Samuel, and so on and so forth. That is what I am referring to, who I call my spirit team, along with my guardian angels, my spirit guides, so on and so forth. So just clearing that up for some of you guys that have asked. We also have divine mystery, the sun, mo earth, moon, stars, and you are all part of one creation. Be present and feel the power of now unfolding at this moment. Behold the wonder of it all. Yeah, you guys, there are two notes. This is not a coincidence that I think both of these came out because both of these have subtle notes of unity consciousness, the interconnectedness of all. We are all one, right? Um, and therefore, if there's any question or if you're fixating on being like in a separation state with your person, just remember at the end of the day, all is one. We are all connected with one another. And when one of us elevates, everybody else theoretically would elevate a little bit as well, right? That's why um, the golden rule is to treat others how you want to be treated. Because if we all did that, if we were all kind and loving to one another, if we all went out of our way to cultivate that beautiful energy of love and gratitude on a daily basis, the whole elevation of the earth would go up theoretically, right? Because we are all vibing higher. So that's why it's so important to practice gratitude and love and just be very kind to one another. So that's my little tidbit of the day I had to throw in there. I hope you all enjoyed the reading. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Again, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you haven't already. Stick around and subscribe if you feel called to. It helps my channel out, and I would love to have you stick around for more videos in the future. I hope you remember that you really are a bright, shining star, and I hope to see you for a future video. Bye for now.